morning. It is 11.30. just woke up. I think I got some pretty good sleep um, since whenever I went to bed. 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. I can't remember. So yeah, it's pretty sunny outside. Um, but I'm just, I'm, I don't think I'm feeling very well. Like, I have a stuffy nose and scratchy throat. I think that's one of the reasons why I don't feel like going outside. Like, the thought of being cold and stuff is just not, like, it's, I'm not vibing with it. Although it's not supposed to be so cold outside, so I don't know what the day holds, but we shall see. First thing first, I need to wake up. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's 12.30 and for breakfast I'm having some of that um, split pea lentil soup, well, stew that I made yesterday. And I'm still trying to wake up but I um, did tidy up and stuff like that. It is 6 p.m. and I'm having a late lunch I would say. I didn't want to make like... Um, the pasta sauce so all I did was boil some pasta and then I cooked the frozen peas that I had and I added a onion to it and I kind of have something new that I wanted to try basically like I wanted a like a pasta salad sort of a thing and this is what I'm gonna put on it which is mayo sauce and this which says for fasting so so <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk. I was trying to explain it. So basically, um, if you're a Christian, like Orthodox Catholic, which majority of the population here is, um, you fast before, um, what is it, Easter and Christmas, I should know. <laughs> And basically, I can't remember for how long, six weeks or something like that, you're not supposed to eat like uh, dairy, milk, I mean dairy, meat, and egg. But fish is, uh, you know, you can eat fish, which I don't think fish is a, a legume, but anyway. So basically... Um, this mayo, I remember having it like years and years ago and I actually liked the taste better than like regular mayo that has egg in it. So knowing that like this like fasting thing is coming up, I asked my grandma, I'm like, when you go to the supermarket, can you please look and see if there's any for fasting? Because I'm pretty sure they're not going to put any fish in it and lo and behold, it doesn't. So it's basically vegan mayo. Long story short, so I'm just going to put some mayo on this. And then I have a pretty hilarious uh, sort of story about being vegan in Eastern Europe that I'm going to tell you after I eat because it's just crazy. <laughs> So, see you guys in a little bit. So, I just finished eating and I really wanted to tell you guys this story. I'm sorry about how I look. I need to go, like, fix my hair, take a bath, all that stuff. But I've just been, like, cleaning and stuff. So, um, I guess, like, there's a long version and a short version. I'm going to try and do the short version of this story. Um, <laughs> and I just find it hilarious. So, here's the thing. I... <clears throat> I haven't had like a physical checkup, whatever, like blood work and stuff done in a really long time. And I mean, not a real, like a few years. So I was just like randomly asking my grandma because we do have the same like family doctor, like general practitioner, whatever. Um, you know, like next time you go, like, can you please ask? Um, I mean, I know that I can do my blood work, but. Um, what I was interested in is can I, like, are there clinics that do blood sensitivity testing, meaning, like, what you're allergic to, um, because it's not, it's not a thing here, like, I tried looking online and I found some clinics, but most of them are, like, in the capital, so in Bucharest, and that was, like, on the other side of the country, and I'm not gonna go all the way there, I mean, if I can't get it done, in the city that I'm just gonna have it done like some other like maybe if I go visit my mom or something in Italy or something but <laughs> so I'm not gonna travel just to have that blood test done or my blood work so I just asked her like um you know next time that you go to the doctor can you please ask him like if he knows of you know any clinics um that do this because it's not a normal blood test thing that people do 
So my grandma comes back today. Actually, she came over today and um, she brought me the mayo and stuff and we talked for a long time. So <clears throat> my grandma sits down and she's like, well, I talked to the doctor and, you know, I explained to him that you're now allergic to meat and, you know, all of this that you're going through and, um, you know, he said that, well, it's normal that, you know, my body's rejecting meat and everything because I gave it so much like my, <laughs> he knows that I did a hundred days of juice fasting. Um, so he's like, well, because like I gave my body so many nutrients and like nutrient rich foods that now my body's like not tolerating like, you know, meat, dairy, eggs and, uh, you know, am I diabetic? Like maybe I'm diabetic or, um, you know, given that I've <laughs> given my body so many nutrients, now my body's like reset so it doesn't want to tolerate meat anymore and i should go over there and he knows a really good specialist like gastrointestinal specialist and he's gonna he's gonna refer me to to that person and she's a really good doctor and she's gonna tell me like everything that i need to do so we can fix this <laughs> so uh yeah that is i'm just i find it fun. and then the nurse who was there who's like young um girl um she was like oh i don't believe she didn't eat for a hundred days like i i rather uh, and she she just i think she like made a weird face or something and my grandma asked her like what what's wrong and she's like oh i i rather like hang myself than not eat and i was like here's the noose, like, you know, just, like, go do it, um, so it doesn't bug me anymore, like, people saying, oh, I don't believe you did it, blah, 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 it's like, you know, you can believe whatever you want, or not believe it, or whatever, or the reasons behind me doing it, I mean, it, it, it was for me, it was for my own health, it was not, like, the only reason why I, like, documented it on YouTube was in case someone else wants to do it, to, like, see everything that you go through, the good, the bad, and the ugly, because God knows there's a lot of bad and ugly. It's not all like, oh, my God, I'm feeling so in touch with nature. You know, I feel like I've reached another level. Yes, you do after a while, but it's, it's not always pleasant, and it's not always nice. And so I just wanted, like, an honest... Um, you know, like, an honest series of videos where, like, you show what you're going through. Because that was like, um, Joe Cross was saying, you know, in the first few days he was feeling really ill, really sick. And throughout the documentary, he didn't want to shoot the days when he wasn't feeling well. And now, like, years and years and years after the movie and the second movie came out, he was like, that was gold. Like... You know, I'm not a, a movie maker, I'm not a filmmaker, but that, that was gold. Like, those were the, the times that I should have been shooting, not when I was, like, feeling good and, like, whatever. That's so loud. It's an ambulance. So, you know, when I did my fast, sorry, my hand's shaking. Um, when I decided to do this fast, I was like, you know, might as well just have, like, a video diary of it and help someone. Because I didn't find any, like... Very few people are, like, super genuine on the internet, and they're going to cry on camera and be like, oh, this is so hard. Everybody's like, oh, it was, like, a little rough, but, like, you know, in the end, it was okay. And then, like, a week later, when they're reflecting, they're like, oh, my God, I went through hell. So I didn't want to be one of those people. I wanted to be like, oh, my God, I'm going through hell right now. <laughs> so Anyway. So I really don't care if people believe or don't believe. I didn't do it for anybody else. If the, You shouldn't do it for anybody else just do it for yourself if you want to do it or don't do it if you don't want to do it but like whatevs so that really <laughs> doesn't affect me but the fact that a doctor <sighs> wants to send me to a specialist to fix my problem so I got rid of like um you know meat dairy eggs basically everything that causes like heart disease, strokes, and cancer, and now you want to send me to a specialist so that I can get 
like treat it so that I can continue to eat those things that you know are are, are the leading cause for like heart disease, strokes, and cancer. Which the reason why I mentioned this is not like me just like yapping or like you know telling you stuff that I heard from other people who are like pro vegan or whatever. Like no, like in my family, like the my grandparents and people that have passed away, they passed away from heart attacks, strokes, and cancer. So I have it all in my family. It's not like it's something that, you know, it's just I saw it on TV or whatever. It's a very real thing. So obviously I'm predisposed to that. And if I can help it, and if I can do something about it, of course I'm going to do something about it. So here I am <laughs> trying to lead a, like a healthy life and the doctor's like oh no 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 we gotta fix this because you're sick because you can't eat you know dairy and whatever and then my grandma's like no she just chooses not to eat dairy and eggs and that was even more strange for the doctor so but by his own account when he was like um younger whatever in his doctor career um he worked at a hospital where they were doing this um they were treating cancer patients and diabetes patients with juices, like juice cleanses. So he saw that with his own eyes, and yet he's the one saying that I should go to a specialist so that they can fix my problem with meat. And it's like, I don't have a problem with meat. I'm like, yes, I am allergic, but then again, I have a bunch of allergies, and that's just because I was born after a nuclear explosion, which is a completely different story. But luckily, I wasn't born with other deformities and stuff, you know? Like, my mom was at the seaside when, when the Chernobyl thing happened. So I got radiation a lot. And a lot of, um, like, my generation suffer from allergies and stuff like that because of, you know, what happened. So I'm, like, having allergies is not a big deal. A lot of people have allergies, but... I have nothing wrong with my digestion. My digestion is fine. I'm not, you know, <laughs> my grandma told him, like, I can't keep meat down and I keep throwing it up and stuff like that. And he was like, yeah, we, we need to go see a specialist. And it's like, what specialist? Like, all I want to do is have my blood work done to see where I am on the scale to see if, like, my cholesterol levels, like, what, basically, what do I need to work on? Do I have a deficiency? Like, you know, I just want to make sure now that I'm, really taking care of myself I want to I want to take care of myself even more from like a medical sense and just make sure that I'm on top of everything without you know just doing the guesswork oh I think I need more calcium or I think I need more iron but I'm not very sure so anyway so I just want to do my blood work and I want to do my blood sensitivity but my doctor thinks that I should go see a specialist. So that's that's the story pretty much. In Eastern Europe, if if you tell someone that you can't eat meat, you can't eat dairy, eggs, they're like, oh my god, I am so sorry. Because the only people who are who have dietary restrictions are the old and the dying. Like if you're sick, like if you have like cancer or whatever heart problems and then the doctor says well you need to cut out like meat out of your diet or they, they don't even say cut it out they say like you know limit your meat consumption or limit this or you know you might have something seriously wrong with your really with your gastrointestinal tract um and you know your body can't handle certain foods and you know so when you tell someone that you you're not eating these things, they automatically think, oh, well, you're sick. Like, you're not sick in the head. Maybe sick in the head, but definitely physically ill. So it's like, this is the stuff that I have to deal with. Oh, Lordy. So, yeah, it's, I mean, it, you know, when I first hear it, of course, like, I'm, I'm very trigger happy, so my blood starts boiling, I'm like, oh, no, but then, like, looking back, I'm like, oh, my God, like, you are doctors, you should know this, like, I mean, 
Look at the China study. I know that a lot of vegans like throw that out there, but as a, as a doctor, as an MD, I think you should at least have an inkling that that thing exists or like, you know, I mean, there's so many documentaries. If If I know more about heart disease than you do as a doctor, then that is a problem. So, yeah, just... I find it hilarious, but also really, really sad um, that this is like the general consensus and this is what people think and it's like so many things could be prevented by just changing, changing what you eat. I mean, what, it, and then again, people saying, oh my God, doing a juice fast is so extreme. Really? Having heart surgery is not extreme. Having bypass surgery is not extreme. Like, I don't know. Like, living on medication day in, day out, that's not extreme. But me drinking juice and not eating animal products, that's extreme? How is that extreme? Like, I don't, I don't get how that's extreme. It's like... Okay, so I don't know, like I'm I'm baffled, seriously. <sighs> so yeah, uh, for those of, again, I repeat, for those of you living in other countries, like more developed countries, and you have like all the fake meats and the, you know, fake eggs and everything, and the, the fake, like not the fake, but like the junk food, like vegan and stuff like that, you're so lucky. Like here, it's like, okay, you want to go vegan? Here's your salad. Here's your carrot. Deal with it. Like there's no in between. I mean, the fact that I found like vegan mayo, there's only one brand that makes it. I can guarantee this. I, and I, I, in the supermarket at Lidl, when I, where I shop, you can find it. Um, you can only find it in some huge like really huge supermarkets like I don't know just huge and there's like this tiny little section you know really there is and mostly for like soy stuff I mean, for God's sakes Lidl the supermarket that I just uh I go to they just came out with soy milk uh I think they have vanilla and chocolate a couple of months ago like they did not have it before, and this is 2016. So, you know, my mom lives in Italy, and she's like, I have, like, my rice milk and my almond milk, and, you know, and I have it with my coffee, and you should definitely buy some rice milk, because, like, I, I told you guys that I, in my opinion, I have an intolerance to soy. I just never reacted well to soy, and so... I really don't want to go there because because of this because I got one huge zit that is like still knock on wood it's on the men's but it only took like two months to get rid of it and it was like really really painful and just um self-confidence plummeted and everything and I mean I'm blessed that I only have to deal with like a couple of things I know a lot of people have it a lot worse when it comes to acne and stuff like that but like if I know what is causing this like I don't want to expose myself and like I don't really want to eat soy I mean I want to try it but I'm scared <laughs> because it might end up like you know breaking me out the same with chocolate I know that when I eat chocolate I'm getting a zit the next day it's just as simple as that so you know I was telling my mom like you know they came out with like soy milk but I don't want to drink it. and she's like but just buy rice milk I'm like are you kidding me? From where? Like, where am I going to find rice milk? Like, <laughs> there is no rice milk here. Like, uh, so, yeah. Just, <sighs> basically, people think that there's something wrong with me. Like, mentally. Like, I've gone crazy. And there's something, like, seriously, physically wrong with me. That my body is not healthy enough to deal with animal products welcome to my life <laughs> anyway um i'm gonna I, I don't know what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna look for some more youtube videos 
because I am addicted to YouTube. In case you, you guys don't know, I do have a TV in the living room, um, but I haven't had cable in three years now by choice. I used to have cable, and then I was like, I never watch it. Um, so I don't watch TV, I just watch YouTube or shows or stuff like that, but like I literally do not watch TV. The living room is used for when my grandma comes over or where pr princess sleeps, like that's it. I don't do anything else in the living room. Anywho, gonna go look something up and my hand is really shaky for some reason. And then I really, really, really want to take a bath because, sorry. <clears throat> my voice is going um that's because I didn't talk to anyone well I talked to my grandma so I did get like an hour worth of like vocal exercise <laughs> um but I really want to take a bath and just like relax and have some me time I, for some reason my back has been hurting so bad since I woke up like my, from my shoulders my arms like I don't know did I clean so much that like I, like, I have aches and pains. I have no idea. Granted, I've been cleaning the house for two days, but I didn't think I was doing, like, that much effort. So, I don't know. Just my back was, like, really, really bad today. And, like, I couldn't sit in any position to, like, feel comfortable, like, completely comfortable. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, everyone. So, it's just after midnight. It's 12, 16 a.m. Hello, teddy bear. Uh, just trying to get my arm comfy. I took a bath, as you can tell. I FaceTimed with my mom for quite a while. Um, she, she has a new place, so we were picking out furniture. Well, mostly the bedroom, because we already, like, she already did the kitchen and stuff like that. So, that was fun, and we talked about a bunch of stuff. And, um, I'm watching like Mystery Diagnosis, which is one of my favorite shows. Um, I love anything that has to do with um, Discovery, like health and um, the ID channel, like autopsies and just anything that is medical or criminal or just, ow, <laughs> or mysteries in general. Like they don't just have to be like alien stuff I don't know I love it like I love <laughs> all the weird things like paranormal aliens um anything health related so yeah I'm still in my robe and I was like almost falling asleep so I figure I should just get up put on some PJs and actually go to bed. My boyfriend's at the office. So what time is it right now? It is 6 18 for him. So I don't know. It's going to be a while before he gets home. So but I don't think I can wait up for much longer. I mean, I was almost drooling on my pillow like two seconds before I picked up the camera. <laughs> yeah, it's been a, it's been a great day. Um, just working through things like physically and emotionally and everything um you know when especially when stuff from the past comes knocking like my ex and just trying to like wrap my brain around it and talking to my mom about it and I was just like I'm honestly embarrassed you know uh, just I don't know just having that feeling of like, oh my god, like I dated that person. So, you know, just thoughts of like, was that person that way when we were dating? And he was bad, but not like this. But like, you just feel like, I don't know, a lot of things went wrong after we broke up, honestly. A couple of months after we broke up, um, his mom died in a very bizarre uh, accident. She choked on her food and, um, they couldn't resuscitate her and she just, um, she was in a coma for a while before she passed away and, uh, that's because she was, um, she was an alcoholic but she was also addicted to, um, sleep medication and she would just mix the two. So, I mean, she went from, like, 
sing it, sitting at the table eating to choking on her food and um even the it, it was just a very tragic death like I don't know, it's just weird, like, the paramedics, like, just removed, like, a ton of food from her trachea, and it's just, but they couldn't get her back, so that happened, and then, like, two more months after that, he lost his job, so I'm not exactly sure what happened there, because we were no longer dating, but that kind of spiraled out of control, and I think something happened to him then, and then after that, I bumped into him and he had gotten like five, four or five tattoos in like a very short time span. And I mean, I love tattoos, but these are just like bad, like really like cheap, I don't know, and just like weird stuff. So I don't know exactly what happened to him, but it kind of feels like he went off the rails. Um, and when I told my grandma today like about the message and everything she got really worried she's like don't talk to him don't contact him like just don't like something's wrong and there was another incident where a couple years ago he just showed up um on christmas like to my house and he was just acting really weird and um he freaked me out and i i suddenly felt very unsafe with him in the house so I just, I almost, like, physically had to, like, kick him out. I just, I was really scared for my life. So I don't know what happened there, but, um, it's just very troubling, especially when, uh, you know, you cared for someone for years, and, and then this happened. So, I don't know, this is weird. So we talked about that and, you know, tried to, like, figure it out, and I don't know, it was just, like, past my past is just <laughs> coming back to haunt me. Not that, like, I have anything to do with it. Like, what What do I have to do with, like, you know, my dad or my ex or whatever? It's just, it's history. Um, but it's just, um, it's kind of troubling. So, anyhow. <sighs> Got that out of the way. And just, um, I'm feeling better. I don't feel so sniffly and, and my back doesn't hurt as much. Um, obviously I didn't do very many activities today. Just, you know, in the morning, like, tidied up and, um, put away, like, the laundry and stuff like that. But anyway, so today was, was a good day. And taking a bath and being all fresh and clean and stuff is nice and also picking out furniture is very exciting so I love that and um we already like picked out like the my uh mom's like kitchen furniture basically my mom went like she moved in the place was empty and so she just redid everything like uh not herself but like she had she hired people but like the bathroom is new the kitchen is new and just like you know it's an empty space that you can fill with whatever you want so it's pretty nice like looking in a catalog and being like yes you know I think we should get like this furniture and this bed and with these options and that nightstand and this type of mattress and it's just very exciting so <laughs> living vicariously through my mom <laughs> and she got like um some uh, like a little set of like table and like chairs like for her balcony and um she's getting flowers and then we're thinking about what flowers she should put in like the things on the balcony and just like stuff like that so that was mainly what happened ah uh, so yeah that's that's exciting so anywho i'm uh i'm sleepy and Princess has beat me to it. She's been sleeping all day. Look at her. No care in the world. Every time I show my boyfriend Princess sleeping, he's like, I am so jealous of her. <laughs> because he's always tired and he always has stuff to do. And then when he looks at Princess and she's so peaceful and, you know taken care of basically. He's like, I'm jealous. I want her life. So there we go. Um,
been fun, sort of. I mean, every day is interesting, <laughs> needless to say. But, um, just, I'll put some PJs on and I'll see you guys in the morning. Night.